Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 extends the ability for organizations to manage their master data efficiently with the Global Address Book. This version provides a flexible data model which supports B2B and B2C, reducing customizations. Reduces the complexity and database size of implementations by eliminating redundant data storage. Provides a holistic view of a person or organization across the enterprise and provides options to secure parties and private addresses and contact information. In this video, we'll take a look at some of those enhancements. First of all, what is the Global Address Book? The Global Address Book is a central repository of people and organizations that play some role with your enterprise. These people and organizations are called parties, which we can see on the Global Address Book list page. Parties can be internal, such as these advertising departments, and employees such as Alphonse, who we can see as a worker in our Denmark legal entity. Parties can also be external and play roles such as prospects, customers, and vendors, which we can see with Adams Office Supplies, who is a vendor in one of our legal entities, or ABC Data Corporation, who is a customer in one of our other legal entities. Parties can play multiple roles in one or more legal entities, such as a Datum Corporation, who we can see as a customer, vendor, and prospect in our CEE legal entity, as well as a vendor in our CEU legal entity. Or Alexander Oswald, who we can see as a worker and a vendor in our CEU legal entity, and a worker in one of our other legal entities. While these people and organizations play multiple roles with our enterprise, their data such as name, address, and contact information is stored once and referenced by the various party role records throughout the system. Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 has provided a flexible data model which supports both B2B and B2C business models, which reduce the need for customization. As a sales representative who has acquired a new customer and taken an order from one of my existing customers, I need to get the information into the system quickly so I can get back out and make more sales. Starting off by looking at the customer list, I can select New Customer and a quick Create dialog displays. Now my new customer is a person, so if I change the record type to Person from Organization, you'll notice that the name details change. I type in the first and last name, select the customer group, Terms of Payment and Delivery Terms, and mode of delivery. One of the changes in Dynamics AX2012 is the address format. The fields that are displayed to you are based on the address format assigned to the country region code. So for USA, you'd get a different set of address fields than if you would if your country region was Brazil. In this case, we'll leave it at USA and we'll enter in the remaining address information. their phone number, and at the bottom you'll notice some options that we have. Save and Close will save this customer record and return us back to the customer list page. Save and Open will provide us some more options. If we choose Customer, this will open up the customer detail form where we can enter in more information about this specific customer. We could go directly to create a sales quotation or project quotation or enter in a sales order. We'll choose Sales Order. Now the system saves the record and opens up the sales order detail form where we could go in and enter in lines for that sales order. And you'll see that the address information defaulted. The address that is used on the sales order is only stored once in the system on the party record and utilized by both the customer record and all transactions, reducing redundant information which bloats the database with repetitive data. Let's go back to the customer list page to see more information about this customer. We type in Judy into the filter and open up the customer detail form. We can see the basic information we entered on the Quick Create dialog. And if we click to show more fields, we can view additional party information such as phonetic name, gender, and birthday. These fields are relevant to the customer as a person. If the record type was organization, all of these details would be different, which we'll see in a minute. We can enter in as many addresses as the customer might have. 
Most systems give you two or three places to enter addresses. However, a consumer and business have several addresses, and Dynamics AX2012 puts no limit on the number of addresses for a person or an organization. Similar with contact information, we see the phone number that we entered earlier. And again, there is no limit for the number of contact information records for a party. And now we have all the remaining information that we would see on any customer detail form, such as credit and collections, invoice and delivery, and financial dimensions. Let's take a look at what the customer record would be for an organization. If we open up the details for CAVE Wholesales, Remember when we looked at Judy's customer record, she had additional information such as gender and birthday. For an organization such as CAVE Wholesales, there's information such as number of employees, organization number, and DUNS number. However, the rest of the information is the same, credit and collections, invoicing, and financial dimensions. Take a look at the addresses. This customer has several delivery addresses. Most often, they have items delivered to one particular address. To allow for faster and easier data entry, we can select the most common address to default. Select More Options and set Default. On the Default Address dialog, you can select the specific delivery address you want to default. In this case, they have things delivered to Albertville. They want to change it to their Chester warehouse. So we select that address and save the record. Now we want to enter a sales order for this customer. So we use sell, sales order, and again, just like as the other customer, the information defaults in, and our correct address defaulted in for the Chester warehouse. In this case, this customer wanted their information sent to a different address. Select the delivery address drop-down, and select whichever address they would like it defaulted to, making data entry faster and easier and reducing the potential for errors. Once data is in the system, we have to ensure that that data is secure. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 ships with options to secure party information. Securing private data, such as employee addresses and contact information, is essential. The Private Location Security option, as shown in the Global Address Book Parameters form, will allow users to view private addresses and contact information who have access to one or more of these security roles. If a user does not have security role that's listed here, they will not see private data for any party. There are an additional two optional security parameters. Secure by legal entity will allow users to see parties that play a role in any company they have access to. For example, if I had access to only legal entity CEU, I would only see parties that play a role in CEU. Parties playing a role in any other legal entity would not display. If you turn on Secure by Address Book, users would see parties that belong to an address book they have access to. An address book is a new feature which allows organizations to group or categorize parties into user-defined address books. In this case, Contoso has created an address book to track their government contracts. If we take a look at the Global Address Book list page, and filter by this address book, we can see the associated parties. To relate a party to an address book, you simply select the party record and open up the party detail form, or open up any of the party role forms, such as vendor or customer, and you can select which address books the party belongs to. If the Secure by Address Book option is turned on, only users with permission to address books would see these parties. These are a few of the new enhancements in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Global Address Book. For more information, please see the other papers available on Partner and Customer Source, as well as additional videos. Thank you.